Carrie, uh, this is the machine that we were discussing earlier uh, that we're going to actually do the test cleaning with. Um, some of the features of the machine is number one, it is a vacuum, it's a pie lifter, and it's the cleaning machine. As we do the vacuuming, the dirt will actually be collected here in the dirt cup. And you'll notice that the cup is clean right now. What's necessary for good vacuuming is also good filtration. So when you take a look inside the machine, we have the most advanced six-stage filtration system that's available today in any vacuum system. We start off with a dual cyclonic separator in which we use a passive filter to actually remove the dirt from the air before it ever gets to the active filter. That helps to maintain airflow throughout the cleaning process. Then we have a 200 micron filter here that all we need to do to clean this is to vacuum them off. We don't need to use chemicals on this, and we suggest that you really don't. If you wanted to wash these, you could, uh, but just use clear water, warm water to wash them off with. And make sure that they're dry before they go back into the machine. The final stage of filtration is a fine filter, which is 99% efficient at one micron. These two filters, again, you're just going to vacuum them off. We really don't want to wash this filter because it can end up shrinking. Um, so just vacuum it off and replace it about every two to three months at about uh, $15 a filter. So you're going to reduce your overall cost in vacuum bags and filters for the machine. And if you'll stand back there just a little ways, uh, I'll show you how the machine comes out of the tray. All we're going to do is unlock it here. And because this machine is so easy to operate, I'm not even going to use the handle. I'm just going to turn on the brushes and drive the machine off the tray. And let me just move this tray back out of the way. If we take a look at the back of the machine, we can see that we have two different switches. One switch is for the brushes, the other switch is for the vacuum, and then we have a uh, filter clean-out light so that uh, when this light comes on, you should make sure and clean the filters in the top, as I've already shown. Underneath the machine, we have the two brushes. These are pile lifting brushes uh, that end up rotating toward each other. And the orifice for the vacuum is directly between the two brushes. So that as we're pile lifting, we immediately vacuum the dirt away. Uh, that is being pulled from deep within the carpeting. Removing these brushes are very simple and easy, and I'll show you when we uh, do the cleanup of the machine at the end. There's also a cord guard under here that helps to eliminate the cord immediately being sucked up into the machine. Now, I, there's a primary word that I'm using here, and that is immediately. If you leave the cord underneath there long enough, you can suck it up. So if the cord should happen to get underneath the machine, just shut off the machine, remove the cord, and then continue on with work. Operation of the machine is really up to the operator to a large degree. There is different formats in which we can use this machine. As you noticed, I didn't even use the handle to get the machine off the tray. Operating this uh, with the handle, you can end up using it in a free-flowing manner like this or in where it is locked on either side, and we'll show you how that operates. But first, I like to use it without the handle itself. And I'm going to just do some vacuuming here. I'm going to turn on the brushes, and I'm going to turn on the vacuum.
the handle on both sides, and then operate it that way. By the way, if we begin to look inside the dirt cup here, we can see all the dirt in which we've already picked up in this area here. Now, let's go ahead and do the test on which we had talked about earlier. One thing that I would like to end up emphasizing about this test area is that if this were a hard floor, we would actually be stripping this floor if it looked in this condition. Would you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to be an intensive cleaning. We're going to really strip the dirt out of this carpet uh, to bring it back to a maintainable condition. I'm going to start off with vacuuming and pile lifting so that we remove as much dry dirt as possible before we do any chemical cleaning. Same time. 